yesterday uh, I talked about how important it is to really um, um, use our past in a very important manner and to uh, incorporate that into ourselves and then I also talked about uh, how we need to think of ourselves as an agent in relation to a person rather than as a self. Self and person. Concept of a self as opposed to a person are different in Buddhism. And thinking of oneself as a self causes more trouble than it's worth and it's much more profitable to really think about oneself as a person because as a person you can transform you can become this and that <coughs> because you can teach yourself to think different to um, have different emotions different feelings different experiences as I said this morning really huh? You can teach yourself these things. And that's part of mindfulness practice, mindfulness living. You can, just because you haven't thought about certain things in the past, does not mean you can't think them now. Just because you've always thought bad thoughts in the past, does not mean we have to continue down on that path. Just because you've chosen to um, dwell on loss, uh, on um, feeling of um, inadequacy, despondency, dissatisfaction, doesn't mean you have to do that. You can, you know, you can literally just by giving yourself the chance to just give yourself the opportunity to think one positive thought that leaves the seed. And this morning uh, we were talking about enrichment. Just like um, bad seeds that we plant in our mind we nurse that we nurture that we nourish that then it flourishes so why shouldn't a positive seed that we plant in our mind should flourish in the same manner you know? I mean, if you plant the seed of suspicion, let's say, then uh, you become paranoid. You, you become paranoid, you become suspicious. <coughs> Even when people are being nice to you, you think, what do they want? I mean, uh, they don't want anything, they're just being nice, you know. But in your own mind, you're thinking, somebody who's nice wants something in return or whatever. I mean, you know, I hope I'm making some sense here. You know, you, you plan <coughs> your thoughts. You know, plant is, and, um, creates an imprint in your mind, which is called karmic imprint, by the way, uh, in Buddhism. So it gets lodged in there and then that bears fruit. So, karmic fruit, if you like. And I know uh, these days, you know, um, in the 70s, people used to really uh, take to the notion of the karma. And, uh, you know, karma, karma, and it was cool to believe in karma. But nowadays, suddenly, karma is a dirty word. Um, <laughs> suddenly, 
now people think that um, karma means whatever you get you deserve so therefore it's a bad bad deal basically it's my fault i'm suffering it's my fault it's my karma buddhism does not say it quite like that as you know um, now of course whatever you experience you have uh, you have had a part to play in whatever you, you experience but it doesn't mean it is your fault or that you uh, uh, more importantly that you deserve it i mean even in terms of let's say we use let, let's use smoking as an example a smoker a person smokes gets lung cancer does that person deserve lung cancer of course not but if that person did not smoke would that person get lung cancer perhaps not but you never know that person may have gotten lung cancer anyway in other words it's the same thing with uh, the notion of karmic inheritance uh, that um, um, you let me put it this way whatever bad experiences that you have it's actually a good thing to think that it is um, going to some purpose that it has some meaning rather than thinking it's meaningless suffering you suffer you're going through a horrible time now you've got a choice you can think this suffering this i'm that i'm going through must have some meaning uh, you know like um, uh, as buddhists would say you know um, this suffering that i'm experiencing is cancellation of uh, my karmic debt so when you suffering if you think my suffering is not useless i'm actually relieving myself of all kinds of burdens if you think like that in relation to your suffering you're going to come out better than if you thought oh my suffering is you know i'm i'm suffering this injustice and you kind know, of people are at the showing no regard to me and uh, i'm the victim you know if you have the, if you develop the victim mentality and everybody else is trying to inflict pain and suffering onto you then you're giving power to other people you're giving power to other people and you're disempowering yourself in the process and you by thinking you are the victim i'm the infected the uh, the um inflecty if there's such a word you know i'm 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 the one who who's at the receiving end you are disempowering yourself so there's no richness there there's you know you're not gathering your merit you're not becoming an integrated person and so forth so i don't want to go too much uh, talk too much about that now um but anyway uh, with karma i think it's very important to think it like that a karma is an empowering concept not a disempowering one karma does not say it's your karma so you deserve it it doesn't say that what it says is um, you know um the through karma i can empower myself 
um, uh, because uh, because of karma, not in spite of it, not despite of it, and that I think is a very important thing to. Uh,